Good evening, it's Melissa here. It's Thursday the 6th of December 2018. So I've just spent the past sort of 10 minutes recording and realised I hadn't pressed the record button. So I'm going to try and make this run smoothly and go back over what I spoke about. Um, so anyway, so I just want to talk to you from, um, it's been just over a week now since I did my last diary entry. And uh, I'm going to try and talk you through it all in sync from what I just said. Um, so on the Monday after I did my last diary entry, I went into Chichester. I think I mentioned I was going to have a bra fitting. Um, oh, excuse me. Um, and I, uh, yeah, so I drove into town on the Monday, my day off, and it was absolutely amazing walking through Chichester. I'm really sorry, but I have a hair. <laughs> um, anyway, um, yes, yeah, so I drove through, uh, walked through Chichester, and it was so amazing because where everyone's so busy, um, no one's really paying attention, um, you know, everyone's got their own lives to deal with, and it's been, yeah, it was amazing. So I really actually enjoyed walking through town and no one really caring. Um, I went for lunch with my friend Dawn, we went into Pratt and, um, yeah, it was nice. I mean, there were a few occasional looks, um, but the bra fitting um, at Smitten on North Street was absolutely amazing, who I was introduced to by Dawn Gracie. Um, she's so lovely, she made me feel so at ease, so if there is anybody sort of in the local area of Chichester, um, on the, or on the outskirts, that is looking for any bra or, um, padding issues, um, go and see her, because she put, made me feel right at ease, and uh, she has got a Facebook page. Um, so, um, so yes, yeah, so I went and got fitted, so I put these behind, so I'm actually wearing this right now. This is like a sports bra, and I think I showed you last time what I was wearing, and I had, still wearing the same, the same boobs, but I've been able to take the strap, I've been able to take the straps off, and by wearing these, concealing them, it just looks so much more realistic, I can just show you. <laughs> Uh, makes me feel, yeah, it doesn't make me feel like I'm wearing anything else fake, it just feels natural, obviously lack of a cleavage, um, but also, so then today I bought, so yeah, this is a, this is smitten, um, so I also bought a lovely bra as well, which again I can wear without the straps, which is beautiful, get a load of that, this is very, very nice, makes me feel amazing when it's on. But um, what I have found regarding wearing my penis, I found that actually she, um, Rachel did actually get me in some um, um, support, kind of like Spanx kind of um, shorts. But actually they um, didn't work for me. I tried them on today and um, while I was in the shop and it just made me actually feel fat. It pushed bits out in places that I didn't want to be pushed out and didn't support me. And last week I bought some of these and actually the support that you get around here is enough. Um, so if anybody is going to be buying stuff online, I would really just have a look at, you know, because they were sort of in the £50 region. These are £12. And if these ladders, uh, these tights ladder, just cut them off and you still got the support from the, um, from the short area. Um, so I've got these in black and in illusion. Um... So, yeah, so they're my buyers for the week. Um, so, yeah, so anyway, so after the Monday, I went and had my bras fitted and um, and I went into McDonald's. Da -da. So, McDonald's is, was has, um, always been sort of part of my day-to-day -day life and I'd be just going through the drive through So, what I managed to do um, was walk in and I was planning on, on taking away, so I wasn't staying in, but I went and ordered my food Stood in queue, and there were like a group of four, four like school children, like lads, um, who were sort of pointing and laughing. But like, I totally don't mind that. Um, but I just sort of stood there, just like, yeah, I'm waiting for my food. Thank you very much. And then uh, I left and ate my food in my car. I devoured it. But um, I it was really funny because I got into the car, and do you know what? Like, there's still that these little emotional bits that um, because these are things that I just do day to day, or things that I would you know be doing day to day. So. The fact that like I was getting emotional that I went into a McDonald's store and felt okay about it. It's really weird. So everything's kind of still little milestones and still little moments that I'm overwhelmed at that I'm sort of accomplishing. Um, which sounds really ridiculous. It's like it's not like I'm learning to walk again or anything like that. 
But um, yeah, so that was amazing. That was a nice little tick for my box. Um, a McDonald's trip. Um, apart from that, really, um, I have had a little bit of a, a wobble this week. I think where I've been on such a high for the past four weeks. Um, you know, now it's just kind of like I'm sort of just going back to just a normal, a normal mood, I guess. Um, I have felt a little bit this week probably more manly than I have done in a while. And I think that's because now that I guess like my, my high of being so like accepted and, um, feeling, you know, fantastic, you know, every high has to have a low. So I've just kind of gone Ooh, a little bit and, um, you know, the constant shaving, um, uh, my hair is growing, and I think, I think I'm going to show you, actually. Um, so, I've been a shaved head man since February, um, because I'm receding. Oh, my God, you're going <laughs> to take this illusion away. Um, so, I, um, I've been taking these tablets as well, called Neuroskin, um, and they've got a gold medal from the Trichology Centre, um, trichology department, uh, which is um, they've had thirty years um um experimenting with it, and it's and it's um ninety percent proven, um, so I've been receding, so I you know I'm not gonna get anything as beautiful as this or amount, but it has been thickening up and it has been growing, so, you know when you sort of when I sort of look at you know if I'd have started things like my hormone treatment when I was primary school or teenage years before, you know, sort of the puberty kicked in and testosterone kicked in, you know, I wouldn't have had this problem and, and stubble. But actually, I was also watching a programme the other day, which was on Channel 4, Channel 5, um, about trans kids and, you know, people sort of changing their minds. And I'm actually really glad I got to where I am to do this, but also <laughs> I wish that I could have... I could have a bit of both, so that I could stop the testosterone a lot sooner, but I've been of a bit of a clearer head with it. So anyway, so my hair is growing. Oh, I don't know if I want to do this. So, yeah, so, oh my God. So, I mean, it's not massively long, <laughs> but, okay. You can see sort of my issue that I'm having, going to have to, um, deal with I'm gonna have to luckily I'm a hairdresser but I'm gonna have to have a fringe to cover here you know down to here which is fine but you can see it still looks thin it is thickening up massively and I haven't had length on the sides in ages um but also the thing is with having to wear a wig every day is that it's covering my hair up, covering oxygen and air, and it creates these horrible lines. Sometimes my wig caps really, really dent into my head. Um, I'm just gonna put this back on now. <laughs> um, so sometimes, yeah, the wig caps really dent into my head, um, which isn't great for my brain, <laughs> and it's, uh, it's not good for my skin. And I started to get like sort of spots around the wig line. Um, so I'm really looking forward to it getting to sort of at least this long that I can kind of have a funky little pixie cut um, and just wear wigs on like sort of nights out. Um, but at the moment I still can't, I have to wear a wig. So and also at the moment it's acting like a hat in the, in the winter weather. Um, so yeah, so it's been a good, it's been a kind of okay steady week. Um, I will definitely want to report back to you after the wedding um, because I'm going to look fabulous. Um, and also, before I go, I just would like to remind everybody about the Monday the 21st of January at the Vestry on South Street, Strats, South Street Chichester. Um, this is where we're having our Chichester LGBT community meeting. Um, and this isn't a piss up. This is for um, us to meet as a community, find out what we want from Chichester. Um, I'm hosting this with Dawn Gracie um, and we're holding this at the vestry. So it's myself and Dawn's event. And uh, if you would like to get tickets, if you go to the Chichester LGBT community page on Facebook, you'll find ways to get tickets to go. It is free of charge, but um, if you go on to Eventbrite, you can um, just get yourself booked in um, and there will be more on that to follow so do watch down in the little box or subscribe um, but anyway guys thank you for listening again and I shall see you in a couple of weeks <laughs>